Swaziland, the real Africa. Authentic culture, glorious nature, adrenaline-filled adventure, and friendly people. It's a destination for everyone. Especially for foreigners coming here, there's a real sense of welcome. It's small enough that you can see a lot in a short space of time. People are really nice, there is a lot to see. I'm loving this, I'm loving this country, I'm loving it. And it really is, is a world in a country. Welcome to Swaziland, the real Africa. Swaziland is one of only a handful of monarchies in Africa, and it proudly maintains its traditions, offering visitors an authentic experience in a safe and stable environment. Swaziland is bordered by Mozambique and South Africa, and is easily accessible for international travellers. Despite being one of Africa's smallest mainland countries, it has a rich variety of landscapes, from high veldt to middle veldt to low veldt. Within this spectacular environment is a wealth of exciting wildlife. First on many visitors' list is big game, and Swaziland has plenty. Plani Royal National Park and Mkaya Game Reserve offer great opportunities to see elephants, lions, as well as white and black rhino. A close encounter with a rhino is something you'll never forget. For those who want to get even closer to nature, the Milwan Wildlife Sanctuary offers a different, more relaxed experience that's especially good for families. It's a very user-friendly game park. We call it the Outdoor Lovers Paradise. And that is because you can do your self-guided hiking, mountain biking, you can go out on guided horse trails, you can drive around. So it's very user-friendly. Faire du vélo et avoir un zèbre à côté, un yumpala à gauche, un zèbre à droite, euh, c'est extraordinaire. The four and a half thousand hectares of rolling hills are home to hippos, crocodiles, zebras, wildebeest, a wide range of buck, as well as an abundance of bird life. Here, you're free to walk wherever you like. You can really get close to nature and the animals. So peaceful and it seems to be untouched. Swaziland offers visitors more than stunning scenery and spectacular nature. There's a wide range of activities, from an international standard golf course at the Royal Swazi to more adrenaline fueled excitement. There are full day and half day trips whitewater rafting on the Asutu River, which winds its way through the heart of the country. I would say, do the White River rafting twice. <laughs> That's crazy, but do it. <laughs> In the high felt at the Malalocha Reserve, a canopy tour on zip wire gives you a unique perspective of the breathtaking scenery, as well as an exciting experience. The whole experience is, is wonderful. What more can I say? Go for it, give it a try. There are lots of opportunities in Swaziland to experience traditional African culture. The annual Inkwala ceremony is the most sacred of all Swazi rituals. Basically it's a prayer where we thank God for the rains and ask for more rains and thank him for the good harvest. And uh, it is where the king will take the first bite of the fresh produce from the fields. It's a remarkable occasion, giving tourists an insight into Swazi culture and a fantastic opportunity to see the king and his countrymen in full war dress. It's something different. I've never been to a royalty in Africa ceremony before. They're proud of their Swazi culture and, um, you know, they, they greet you in, in Swazi language and it's really nice. I mean, I, I can't greet back yet, but it's, it's a nice thing, gesture that they at least want to make you feel welcome. Swazis are famous for their friendliness. Visitors will find this kind of welcome everywhere they go. Swazi people have got an overdose of hospitality. They are very welcoming. They make you feel at home. You don't have to go to a traditional ceremony to experience the real Africa in Swaziland. 
bustling activity, vivid colours and the cacophony of sounds make visiting an African market an unforgettable experience. At this one, in the town of Manzini, you'll find a wide range of traditional local crafts. Swazis are very talented. It's a culture that has been transferred from generation to generation, where mothers will teach their children on what to do. You're sure to leave Swaziland with more than just fantastic memories. Swaziland offers something for everyone, and so do its facilities. Whether you want five-star luxury, an authentic but sophisticated safari experience, a traditional African rondavel, or a simple tent in glorious landscapes, Swaziland has it all. Swaziland is a very special little country, easy to get around, lots to see and do, and the people are so friendly. We've had some fantastic times here over the years. I'll be leaving here with, with a heavy heart. This is my first time, but definitely not my last time. Definitely. Swaziland offers a more intimate experience of Africa. It's a small nation with a big smile. <laughs>